The world faces an escalating energy crisis, driven by soaring demand, depleting resources, and the urgent need for sustainable solutions. Renewable energy sources like solar and wind face limitations, such as intermittency and dependency on weather conditions. While renewable energy sources are very helpful, they alone can't meet the global energy needs. But what if the solution to the energy crisis isn't in wind or the sun or the oceans, but in recreating the power of the stars right here on Earth? China's experimental advanced superconducting tokamak or east, often dubbed the artificial sun, has achieved a groundbreaking milestone. While this reactor replicates the process of nuclear fusion, the same reaction that powers our actual sun, at unimaginably high temperatures, China's artificial sun has broken a record, bringing the country closer to limitless, clean energy. So let's explore this incredible achievement that would further strengthen China's position as a global superpower. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Nuclear fusion involves merging light atomic nuclei to form a heavier nucleus, releasing substantial energy. Replicating this process on Earth, promises a nearly inexhaustible source of energy. The concept is simple yet revolutionary, fuse hydrogen atoms to produce helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. And the best part is that it would not produce any greenhouse gases, no long-term nuclear waste, just pure, clean energy. As referenced in popular movies, such as Spider-Man 2, the vision of harnessing the sun's fusion energy for the world's power needs has captivated both filmmakers and scientists alike. There have been many attempts by several nations to replicate this process on Earth, and until recently, China's East was one among them. But now, China's attempt became the frontrunner, representing significant advancement in nuclear fusion research, pushing the boundaries of plasma confinement, and potentially providing valuable insights. China's EAST program has been in motion since its launch in 2006, with the reactor being constructed at the Hefei Institutes of Physical Science in Anhui province. The EAST reactor is designed to mimic stellar conditions, by confining hot plasma within a donut-shaped chamber, using powerful magnetic fields. On January 20, 2025, the EAST reactor reached a milestone that stunned the world. It maintained plasma at a staggering 180 million degrees Fahrenheit for 1,066 seconds, around 17.7 minutes. To put that into perspective, the sun's core operates at scorching 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. EAST achieved temperatures more than six times that, and sustained it for longer than the 403 seconds record, it set in 2023. Sustaining plasma for over 15 minutes is a phenomenal advancement in fusion research, bringing us closer to the goal of continuous, self-sustaining fusion reactions, which are essential for practical power generation. The success of this attempt, indicates significant progress in reactor stability, and the ability to maintain the necessary conditions for fusion, over extended periods. Fusion energy offers a promising, long-term solution with its potential for limitless, reliable, and clean power supply, making it an answer to meet the growing global energy demands. The dependency on fossil fuels has brought us to the brink of climate disasters and global warming. China's ambitious pursuit of creating an artificial sun, through its experimental advanced superconducting tokamak, highlights the global race to harness limitless clean energy. This effort is part of a larger movement, with nations worldwide investing in nuclear fusion technology. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in France is a collaborative project involving 35 countries, including countries like the US, UK, India, and the European Union aiming to develop a fusion reactor capable of producing more energy than it consumes. The lessons learned from China's East, would eventually help design and operate ITER's next-gen fusion reactor. Meanwhile, the UK is advancing its own fusion initiatives through the STEP program, 
and the U.S. has made breakthroughs in nuclear fusion through their D3D program in California. These collective endeavors showcase a shared vision of achieving a future powered by fusion energy, free from the constraints of traditional fossil fuels. Despite this remarkable progress, several challenges remain, before fusion can become a practical energy source. Developing materials that can withstand the extreme temperatures and radiation inside the reactor remains a significant engineering challenge. Additionally, achieving a net positive energy output, where the energy produced by the fusion reaction exceeds the energy input required to sustain it, is a crucial hurdle that scientists are racing to solve. China's current attempt reportedly cost more than $1 trillion, from its inception in 2006. The enormous costs and time associated with projects like this highlight the advanced technology, extensive research, and long-term investments required to achieve groundbreaking advancements in clean energy production. China's artificial sun, through its EAST project, shares a common goal with ITER in advancing nuclear fusion technology as a clean energy solution, serving as a crucial testbed for similar technologies, contributing valuable data and insights. In addition to an artificial sun, China also tried its hand at creating an artificial moon. China's artificial moon project, which began in 2018, is designed to simulate the moon's low-gravity environment in a laboratory setting. The aim of the project was to save money on electricity by replacing street lights and also to illuminate blackout areas as the artificial moon would work as a mirror, reflecting sunlight back to Earth. And by using magnetic fields to levitate materials, it aims to create conditions similar to those on the lunar surface, enabling researchers to study how materials behave in microgravity. This project is closely linked to China's artificial sun program, as both are part of the country's broader ambition to lead in innovative energy and space technologies. While the artificial sun focuses on advancing nuclear fusion for clean energy, the artificial moon aims to support future lunar exploration and the development of technologies for space missions. China's artificial sun is more than just a record-breaking reactor, it's a glimpse into a brighter, cleaner future. But will we see fusion power plants in our lifetimes? The answer lies in the relentless pursuit of innovation and international collaboration. But what do you think about this groundbreaking achievement? Will fusion energy revolutionize the way we live? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.